Welcome back once more. We will be continuing today with the Spanish Civil War DLC. So we're playing the second mission here, which is Antiquera. I'm looking forward to this one, actually. Uh, we can already see quite a few Republican forces over here. Well, uh, those look to be nationalist forces over here, actually. So we do have some armoured uh, units over here, which is quite good to see. Uh, but we do see Republican. Uh, these look to be either potentially anti-tank pieces or artillery pieces, or possibly even AA, but they look to be anti-tank or artillery uh, but we shall see here. So we have Capitana Vega coming in here. Urgent orders from General Franco. Right, our force stand ready. Capitana Vega, what are your orders? Okay. The Republican Navy has been joking Franco's effort to move men and equipment from the Army of Africa to Spain. He requires that you deal with this problem once and for all. Uh, we have learned that the battleship uh, Task Force and her escorts uh, have been at port. Okay, near Malaga. This should be... Oh, okay. So we're going to be looking to destroy the naval task force out here, then that's cool. Our biplanes can't carry sufficient bomb load to scratch the paint of a battleship. Must, uh, much less destroy it. Hmm. Oh, that's intriguing, then. Uh, so we would refit our transportation aircraft into bombers. Okay. Huh. That's pretty cool, though. So, primary objective then is to control these two hexes over here, then control the two victory hexes. And so it seems... Oh, so that would be the airfield and it would be the actual city over here of Antiquera. Uh, we do have objectives over here potentially as well, which is something to hold on to. Oh, so these are multiple victory hexes, right, okay, so we need to hold on to all of these if we want to really come out on top here. Uh, capture and then defend all victory uh, hexes. Uh, the bonus objective is to actually sink the battleship then. I imagine that would probably help us out significantly. <clears throat> okay. Right. This is not really a way down to the south here. If we cut across a relatively flat terrain, I think we can encircle their defensive positions while we're attacking these sporting units. Our Spanish infantry can clear them out from the hills. Uh, too dangerous for our vehicles to fight in. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, so we could be sweeping down here from the north. That makes sense. I would request your artillery support to cover our advance. Dislodging the militia from the hills will be difficult, and we will need your help to get the job done without spilling too much of our own blood. Right. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's how I feel when it comes to pronouncing any language. Condor Legion. Okay, here we go. So that's the end of the briefing there. So we have Italian Auxiliaries. Our Italian colleagues have committed the Corpo Truppe Troop Voluntarie uh, to, pass, uh, to participate in this Spanish conflict, you can purchase and deploy them as temporary auxiliary units to any battle. That's kind of cool. Uh, so we have a military commendation here for Dirk. Uh, he has been commended for extraordinary heroism. Okay, so we have Scavenger here. Captures twice as much equipment. That's pretty cool there. Whoops. Right, there we go. <laughs> uh, so these are the units that are deployed then, so we do have the L333s here. Oh, so these are uh, Italian tanks. Oh, we also do have some Italian infantry to the north there. Okay, that's cool to see there. Uh, to be honest, I thought it might have been like a Polish design. They do look kind of similar, actually. Okay. So we do have our forces over here. Can I reinforce them before we place them? It would decrease their experience there. Quite dramatically as well. Elite replacements. Okay. So that would cost us 47. That would only cost us 23. I mean, we do have a decent amount of prestige. I think we do want to keep them. We could even try to upgrade them, actually. 
Uh, so I don't have the ability to upgrade them right now. Uh, so we do have the Overstrength up here. Oh, I see. That might be worthwhile doing. I think we'll go for that, actually. Oh, can I not do it right now? Oh, it might be because I have too many units over here, in fact. Okay. Yes, I could do that one. But I can't do that one. So we could go over Strength Factor, which is not too bad. Does that actually keep our experience, I wonder? No, it has not. Oh, no. No, I think it has. Yeah, I think it has. Experience 93. Oh, excellent. As so we'll do that for all of them, but upgrade them. Uh, but over over strength them too. There we go. It is expensive, but I think it's worthwhile. There we go. Let's take a look at these guys over here then. Ah, so we do have a. Um... Oh, these are captured actually. Right, I see. So that is more or less worse in every way. It's so not really worthwhile doing that. Uh, we do have a 45mm. So it does actually have more heart attack. Uh, that is tempted. Apparently we do have three of them, but I think it's not worth the cost there. But if we take a look over here, this actually has a transport. Uh, and I could actually give them a wagon. Give them that wagon there. So they both have wagons. Uh, we'll go ahead and replace those. Right, same here. We did capture some larger guns, but we do have pretty good guns here, to be fair. Yeah, so they're pretty much on par there. That's good to know. I can't believe our forces got beaten up as much. I definitely did. I'll give it the transport. I think it is worthwhile having that. We did see last time it took them a very long time to actually get into the action. Um, right, so we'll go ahead and just, yeah, replenish our strength. Okay, we have you over here, which is a reconnaissance. It's not a bomber, however. And we already have one. Right, there we go. So they do lose a little bit of that speed, so that's okay. Right, uh, that is good to know then. I don't think we really need to purchase new units, but then again, it might be worthwhile to do so. Let's just take a look over here then. So I could purchase additional panzers if I wanted to. Uh, these are the ones that we have captured here, actually. Right. So these Italian forces over here then. I do like the look of the talents here so much. We do have a 100. I like these. Hello. Yes, it might. I don't know. Then again, uh, it said auxiliaries. So I don't know if we'd retain them. That's the only problem there. So low altitude. Oh, low altitude attack. Okay. Right. Tactical bomber. I'd like to compare this with our own, to be honest. Because right now we have the biplanes over here. I wonder how they compare. Um, let's see. Purchase units. All. Right. Okay, that's intriguing. Then. It's not actually showing me what I want to see here. Hmm. So we're looking at hard attack. So four soft attack, seven hard attack, air attack two, naval attack four. Right, you do have more soft attack but less hard attack. Oh wow, you have significantly more naval attack burn. Yeah, that is much more expensive. This one... Uh, has decent naval attack. It's kind of in between. It, it's a bit cheaper though, isn't it? Um, it might be worthwhile to go ahead and pick these guys up, perhaps. 
Let's see. We'll purchase a couple of them, maybe. Oh, I can only have the one, then. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, these are the auxiliary slots, right? That makes sense, then. Okay. Oh, that's cool, then. So, I could go ahead and pick up some additional auxiliaries over here, then. So, we do have the additional uh, armored units, overrun, and rapid fire. Right. Um, I'm thinking potentially more Italian, uh, maybe more Italian artillery, to be honest. Uh, those are a little bit too big for us again, but... Yeah, we even have access to the trucks, which is quite good there. Hmm. Though maybe just more more bombers. I think bombers really just come in handy. Just a hell of a lot. Yeah, we'll purchase that then. Cool. Well, in fact, what I'm going to do then... Can I put you back in? I wish I could have done that. And deploy all. Ah, uh, be okay. Right, that's fine. Is that all the aircraft? No, we still have more. So I only have the one fighter over here, but that's okay. So we are going to deploy the Panzers in the north end. So if we take a look over here, then we do have hills. Countryside. Uh, this is countryside. I do want to move through this central area here. There are some roads. Uh, we'll deploy the panzers here. Okay, anti-tank. Hmm. Right, we'll have the artillery deployed here in the center. AA there to protect them. Okay. Uh, then I'll do for now, then. There we go. Some of your units have not been deployed on the map and won't participate in the upcoming battle. Some of your heroes are not assigned to any units and won't participate in the upcoming battle. Actually, I don't even know how you get the units. Uh, the heroes. Hmm. Yes, uh, frankly, it's not something I'm actually familiar with. I'm sure we'll be alright for now. We'll figure it out. Okay, yeah, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Right, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Toggle unit list, there we go. Okay, so we have been made aware that we need to sweep down this way. So I think that is what we're going to be aiming towards doing there. Uh, but I think a good way to start out is obviously to have a reconnaissance, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Go over here to the north, and I reckon. Okay. So we do see... Yeah, anti-aircraft over here. We do see a FT-17. Uh, a fighter over here, then. A over there. Infantry over there. Brigade mixed up. We do see the armored car here. Okay. So we do have the Italian infantry over here. Right. I'm really looking forward to using these guys. Uh, which one is it that has the pretty amazing soft attack? Oh, that's really handy there. That one has the seven hard attack. That's what I'm going to need there. So it's minus three. That's... Um, Minus two over here. Okay. Uh, we'll start with the minus three over here, then, I reckon. The one I might want to do, then, is actually have a unit here to actually benefit from that reconnaissance. So I'm going to go ahead and move you up over there. There we go. Uh, what is their heart attack? Oh, their heart attack's actually not bad at all, really. Yeah, so there you go. So you can see what I'm going to benefit there. So go ahead. Yep, we do benefit from our reconnaissance. We'll attack there. There we go. Minus five. I'm just going to quickly edit an option here. I do have it set to 60 FPS, but it doesn't particularly help it that much. That'll be fine. Ideally, it's not needed. I think it's got a vertical, uh, vertical sync on there. 
Hmm. It does feel a bit slower now, actually. Uh, we'll turn that off then. See how we fare with that. Yeah, there we go. That's a lot smoother there. Okay, so we have inflicted a good deal of damage there. That is very good. Uh, we should actually be able to figure it, uh, yeah, finish off there with the armored car. Which we do. That is very nice. Very economical use of force there. Possibly could do the same over here, actually. Right, your heart attack is five. Your heart attack is four. Right, we'll move you out over here then. I don't have as much heart attack from the bombers, however. So six. Six and six, okay. Three. Three, okay. Hmm. Go ahead, benefit from reconnaissance there. Yeah, not as much there. Not as much. We do have the artillery, which we could move forward here, which is good. Bring them up there. Benefit from our reconnaissance. Okay. It's nice to actually be able to use artillery for a change. So I think that is a... Okay, well, that's that. Yes, that is anti-tank. It's these guys I really want to dig out, but if I can take care of this artillery, I'm going to be quite happy there. There we go. Now, I do benefit from the rough terrain over here. These units aren't ready to move as of yet. Right. Let's move you over there, then. Move you there. Yeah, that AA is going to be a problem there. But we can strike out at targets much uh, further afield here. The BTs would be nice to take out. The cavalry tanks, though, would be quite nice to take out. Yeah. Plenty of militia. I think we'll try and focus uh, focus on taking out the tanks, the armored units over here, then. Uh, try and cause as much of a problem as we can, really. Uh, let's hold the actual remaining air power in reserve then for the time being. I mean, that went really well. So, I do have the infantry over here. Hmm. These panzers are overstrength, which is good. Uh, let's move the anti-tank up to this position here, then. Right, I could actually attack there, take no damage, which is actually really good. Could potentially get lucky, but who knows. Ooh, there we go. We actually do get lucky. So I can move in here, secure this position. So that's mine now. I'm glad that we held on, because I can use these. Ah, oh, they're within range of the AA. Um, I may have to just avoid it. We could attack over here with the actual armor. Yeah, which I think we will do. These panzers do have okay heart attack. It's not amazing, like, but it's still good. Okay, so we overrun them. What does overrun actually do? Can destroy over and weak enemy units without spending move or attack actions. Ah, that's quite cool. Ah, wow. I could really beat up on that uh, AA gun there. That's good. If I can drive off the FT-17, I'll be quite happy. You have the same amount of heart attack, okay. Uh, good to know about. I can't bomb that because of the fighter being above there. Hmm. Ooh, that looks really quite bad. Yeah, it could really beat it up there. Hold it in reserve. Okay. Hmm. 
Right, you could move in there to engage. I think we'll move you there for the time being. If you do help there. If you could just move a little bit further, I'd be really happy. Let's move you there. Hmm, just outside range. I'd like to get down to where the actual roads are, but we can't. Move you there. Oh, I could have actually, uh... Yeah, so there we go. Right, I've got to force march them. That does allow us to actually have them join the attack there. So I'm going to attack. Okay, that really didn't go as I was hoping it would do. Mass attack. Okay, that went really well. Still not worthwhile. Hmm. Yep, yeah, can't move them in there. Oh well, we'll go ahead and get on the road then. Or I could go here, but I'm going to be in range of artillery, so I'm going to go to that position there. Not quite perfect, but still, still okay. I might as well try and deal with that. Right, that is forced out of the way. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and hit that gun over there. Might as well go do that. I mean, air power is really, really important. Uh, being able to just strike out here is really nice. It's just bloody fighters are right there. Not much I can do about that. Uh, let's see, is there anything else that I can move here? Um, oh, I forgot. God, sometimes I don't even notice them with that camouflage. Hmm... That's actually quite a strong armored car unit there. Okay, that was actually fairly effective. Uh, yeah, that looks about it. But I might as well go ahead and use it to attack something at the very least. There's no reason really not to. So at least I'm causing damage there. Uh, that was actually pretty good there. So we'll go to the next turn. Uh, they got fired upon by artillery, so they're actually... Oh, wow, that was forced retreat there. Did they really push up there? That was like a really... <laughs> oh, 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 okay, I see now. Oh, that's really handy then, so we don't have to actually micromanage all the uh, infantry here. Oh, that's really good news. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I was wondering why we had that there. Oh, that's really great news. Yeah, that's forced our position. Oh, cool, I like that. Yes, go ahead, beat up that uh, AA. High ground's good. Yep, wipe that out, very nice. Ouch. Oh, those are like Russian bombers there. Yeah, I could do it more AA. Hmm. Okay, good. We can get to that BT now. FT's moving in there. Attacking the Italian infantry. Okay. Well, I think we can definitely work with that. Yep, I can bring in the AA over here. Fire upon this fighter. Not a huge amount of damage, but it does help out. My own fighter is actually in position here. Okay, could still move, but there's not much point for that. 
Okay. Shift of the artillery. I've got to take out the AA. If I take out the AA, there's literally no problem for me. Let's go ahead and get the AA, uh, the artillery sort of moved up. I want to be quite aggressive with that. Ba -da 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 I really love the music. <laughs> it's really great. Okay. Yeah, that's that. We're gonna sweep south, really. Mm, kind of in the ways of it. God damn. I've got to take that out. Right, band circles that. There we go. They're gone. Ooh, can even attack again here, which is nice. I'll... Uh, actually, not much I can do there. But I should be able to use the bomber to finish that off. Why is that so bad? How are they able to hurt me like that? That's crazy. Good, that's ours. I'm going to move the armored car here to the rough ground just to hold this road here. Because there is enemy forces over here. It would be nice to take that, but I don't know if it'll be able to be done. We are closing in on the vigil locations, which is good. Uh, but we're taking care of the anti-air over there. Hmm. The Spanish infantry should uh, take care of that. But I'm, I'm free over here now, which is good. Oh, wow, that absolutely decimated it. Yeah, we're wiping out quite a lot of that. This is it. I think our first priority really is to try and wipe out their anti air because that really allows us to just go through here and really strike out. Like, this is going to be it, though. Like, they do have fighters, but we'll be able to deal with those fighters slowly but surely. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and secure the airfield. So that allows us to rebase over there. Which I think I will do. Hmm, intriguing. Oops. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'd rather use the armored car to deal with that. Alright, there we go. But we should go south, really. But I'm not going to be able to make it in a single turn, am I? So I don't think it's worthwhile. I could go ahead and beat up on that gun there. Actually, let's see. Can I go further around? No, that's as far as I can go. Okay. Oh, I've used my bombers, haven't I? God damn it. Should have thought about that one. Oh well. Move them to that position there so they can sweep south. 
what we'll do then is we'll beat up on this uh, artillery piece over here. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, almost. But it is forced to retreat there. AT gun. I could probably have done without the AT guns, really. Uh, but we'll see. There's a lot of uh, time yet left. Uh, we have got to move across over here, but we are doing well. Fair enough. Fair enough, actually. I should have actually used that to get an idea down here. Uh, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Let the uh, Spanish get moving. Yeah, they're all encircled now. Sweep down south, we'll have them. But I don't think they're going to last too long over here, so it might be worthwhile just continuing on. Artillery support will help them here. 